start exercising, it's really important that we warm up properly. Please follow the following exercises. This is marching on the spot. The alternative to this, if you feel you can't stand up, is the chair-based version here. So we're going to start by marching on the spot for one to two minutes. If you feel like you can, you're going to add in your arms. Marching on the spot is important to build muscle, improve circulation and build stamina. You can do this whilst watching TV during the advert breaks. Our next exercise is warming up our ankles. This is our ankle loosener exercise. We're going to start with toe and heel taps, which helps with walking and balance. This is useful for climbing stairs. We're going to do this five times on each leg. This one can be done while you're waiting for the kettle to boil. The next exercise is shoulder circles. We're going to roll our shoulders eight times, lifting our shoulders up to the bottom of our ears. This exercise helps reduce neck and shoulder tension and prepares us for the following exercises. The next exercise is going to be side bends. We're going to do four of these each side, making sure you keep your posture nice and straight and your head looking forward. So we're going to do four side bends each side, making sure we keep it nice and slow and our posture nice and straight, pausing in the middle. This warms up our torso and is the last of our warm-up exercises. Now that we've finished the warm-up, make sure you have a drink and keep up your fluids. In general, you should be having about six to eight glasses of water a day. Our next exercise is the jockey lift. For this one, I want you to be at your front third of the chair. So coming forwards, keep your back straight and keep looking forwards. We're going to push through the feet, come up halfway, and then slowly back down into the chair. Keep repeating the movement. This is going to help strengthen your legs, help you get up from and come back down into your chair. This exercise will also help strengthen your legs, which will help you with climbing stairs and walking in general. So our next exercise is a sit to stand. For this exercise, we're gonna push through the heels and stand all the way up, and then slowly back down in a nice controlled manner. If you want to progress this movement from a chair, you can do what Paul is doing and do that standing up. Once again, this exercise will help strengthen your legs and aid with activities such as walking, climbing the stairs, and gardening. Next exercise is the arm curl. This is important for keeping your upper arm nice and strong and this is really important because it helps keep you to do things like shopping, picking things up. If you don't have access to one of these bands at home you can still do these exercises with everyday household items. Something like a pair of tights, an old scarf, something that's got a little bit of give and a little bit of stretch in it. You can still get the same benefit of the exercise just using the things you have already lying around the house. So we grab the band nice and tight with a little bit of band coming out the top of the hand and then we drop the band onto the floor and we firmly step onto the band with both feet. We bring the elbow tucked back into the back of the body and it stays remained at the side the whole time through the exercise. We then slowly bring the arm up to the shoulder, making sure the elbow stays in contact with the side of the body and we reduce it down. We keep breathing throughout the exercise, so we breathe in on the way up and out on the way down. It's a nice, slow, controlled movement working through and we should be feeling this working the muscle in our upper arm as we work. We repeat eight times on each arm. Our next exercise is the upper back strengthener. This is really, really important for making sure that your posture stays nice and strong and that the muscles in your upper back don't start to weaken and it can really help with neck pain. We take the band firmly in both hands with palms facing up and the band draped over the top of the body. We then grab it tightly with both hands and then the first part of the exercise is we pull the band apart and we bring it back in. We pull apart and we go back in. Again, breathing with the exercise, we breathe out and in, out and in. The next part of the exercise is we pull the band apart, we maintain that contraction, we then slide the elbows back so the band comes back towards the belly button. We bring it forwards and we release. And again, we pull apart, we slide the elbows back so the band comes back towards the belly button. We bring it forwards and we release. So we're repeating eight times, so we bring it back and forwards and release and again. Bring it back, forwards and relax and let the shoulders drop. This exercise can really help with your breathing and everyday activities like changing the bed and changing a duvet cover. So we're now going to work on strengthening the back of our upper arm. This is really good for getting yourself up out of a chair, for reaching up for things, getting yourself out of bed and just general upper arm strengthening. So we just take the band, hold it with a thumb pointing down, just place the band on the floor and stand on the band. 
making sure it's quite taut. Keep your shoulders relaxed, posture upright, and don't forget to breathe with the movement. So we're going to just push the band back, keeping the arm almost straight, and do this up to eight times. And then you can just relax and do another eight if you're ready. Remember, if that band is not tight enough, you can make it tighter by holding it down a little bit further down. And if it's too tight, you can relax it a little bit to make the tension less. So you can really adapt it to your own ability. And remember, you can use something like a pair of tights or something stretchy at home if you don't have one of these bands. This can also help you getting in and out of the car. And like I say, just general strength for those upper arms. And it also strengthens your shoulders just a little bit. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is to strengthen our wrists. This is really important for things like opening doors, opening up jam jars, and also if you were to, to stumble and put your hand out, it protects the wrist from injury. So we just take the band and we loosely fold it over and over so you end up just with the band. You can put one hand placed at the bottom and the other hand on top. Relax the shoulders and keep the band fairly close to your tummy. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to twist the band and extend our arms out as we twist. Ensure to keep one hand on top of the other so you're not twisting sideways. And again, we just twist, the elbows come together and then come apart. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Don't forget to breathe with the exercise and remember your posture at all times. We again repeat this up to eight times. And if you feel able to, you can hold the band in front and just pull from the top and the bottom to add a little bit of tension and bring it back in. Do not hold your breath while you're completing these exercises. And when you've finished your eight exercises, you can stop, you can move the top hand to the bottom and repeat another eight exercises with your hands just in different places. Remember, it's very easy to hurt your wrists, so this exercise is really, really good for protecting that joint and help strengthen it. Okay, so now that we've completed all the exercises, it's important to stretch out our muscles that we've worked. During these stretches, you should feel mild discomfort, but not pain. Throughout these stretches, you should be working both sides equally, holding for 15 to 20 seconds and breathing throughout. So to start off the cool down, we're going to be starting with a very simple calf and hamstring stretch. So we're taking our heel out in front of us, toes pointed towards the ceiling, bending the opposite knee and leaning into the stretch, back nice and straight and head facing forward. So we're holding this stretch between 15 to 20 seconds. You should be feeling this stretch in the back of your leg. So now we're going to be coming back up halfway, pointing the toes a bit further towards the ceiling for me, and then leaning back into that stretch and should transfer to the lower part of your leg, and then lean back into it. Holding this stretch for 15 to 20 seconds again, and coming back up. This stretch improves flexibility and also helps you put your socks on in the morning or get dressed. So now we're going to be doing a chest stretch. For this stretch, we take our arms back behind us, and then we're just going to push our chest out and shoulder blades together making sure we're breathing throughout this stretch. So we'll be holding it between 15 to 20 seconds. If you'd like to, if you are sat down, you can hold onto the back of your chair to get the most from this. You should be breathing throughout for this stretch to work properly. This stretch improves your posture and your breathing. So this next stretch is for the back of the arm. So we're taking our arm out in front, placing that hand on the same shoulder, bringing the other hand underneath the elbow to support and pushing those fingers down behind your back as far as you can until you feel that bit of discomfort in your arm. You should be breathing throughout this stretch and you should be holding it for between 15 to 20 seconds. This stretch is very beneficial to help you reach for things and putting your coat on. Okay, so lift your hands up everyone. Bring them back together. Really well done everyone. So remember, we want you to be trying to do these exercises every day and most importantly, we want you to send us your videos and pictures of you joining in. So please keep in touch and stay safe everyone.